In the heart of every bustling restaurant kitchen, there's a silent hero working hard to manage what gets washed down the drain. Fat, oils, and grease, also known as fog, if left unchecked can cause serious issues to wastewater infrastructure and the environment. That's where grease traps, also known as grease interceptors, come in. Food service establishments, also including schools and care facilities, all rely on these devices to intercept fog before it causes problems. Water used to prepare food and clean dishware from the restaurant enters the grease trap through the inlet pipe filling the first chamber. Over time, the fog, which has a lower density than water, will separate and rise to the surface, while higher density sediment sinks to the bottom. The inlet T and transfer T slow down the flow, allowing the water to cool, which increases separation and solidifies the fog, making later removal easier. Thanks to the baffle wall and transfer T, most of the fog will be contained within the first chamber. As water fills up the second chamber, further separation of any remaining fog will occur. One last transfer T will prevent fog in the second chamber from flowing through the outlet pipe. Cleanouts are present to allow for maintenance access in the event of a blockage and to release sewer gases. Finally, a flow control device is installed on the inlet pipe, regulating the flow to ensure the grease trap is not overwhelmed. The grease trap removes these contaminants from the water, allowing the water to continue through the sewer system. Eventually, built-up fog will need to be removed by a professional pump-out service. Regulations vary between municipalities, but the industry standard is to remove solids after the grease trap's contents are 25% fog and solids, or every three months, whichever comes first. Grease traps are an essential tool that utilities need to protect the community and the environment around us. Regular maintenance and inspection are important to ensure continued effective operation. For more water and wastewater educational content, subscribe.